Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at Bloodfest 2024, the first ever one. Jessie Jo Stark on the lineup. She joins me now. How you doing, mate? Hello. Good. Good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's start with the obvious. Yeah, first time this has ever been done. A massive event. How are we feeling so far? It's got to be cool to be a part of, you know, the first ever time this has happened. It feels like a really kind of special day already. Going down in history, like every little detail I walked around like five minutes ago, it's beautiful. So yeah. excited. Nice, nice, nice. What are your favorite details you're picking up on so far? Because he has, I mean, he's, he's built a world as our Dom. He's done well with this. What did you ask me? I said, sorry, it's incredibly loud here. Uh, he's built a world around here. Are there any particular details you kind of particularly like about this festival that's kind of, it's I quite a unique that, vibe? Yeah, I love that it's very much him and his, like the culture of like where he grew up and combined everything he, he sure. loves. Uh, the Brat Shop is really iconic. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know how to say the Holly Arms, but it looks, it's Holly. I think Holly Arms. That's yeah, the way to yeah, do yeah. it. It's just like it's just so him. It's I cried earlier. It's oh, it's wow. just beautiful to see. No, very yeah, very. And it's cool. a really really cool lineup. I love all the artists playing. Like I'm just honored to be a part of it. Honestly. Yeah, really yeah. really nice mix of acts here today. I gotta say, it's very very exciting to see. It. Well, congrats on new music and everything as well. Thank the new you. single coming right. But just tell me a little bit about that because uh, I did see as well co-written with Linda Perry. Right. Yeah. I mean, a fucking legend there. That's yeah, gotta be a cool a experience. Yeah, Linda is a badass. We wrote it like five years ago and it just felt like really time to release wow. it. Wow, amazing. Um, and yeah, we wrote it in LA. It's just like, it's a good bop. Mm. Really don't be so mad. Yeah. The, the uh, name comes from my dog. So it was really sentimental to release this and yeah. yeah, it's sick. Yeah, that's, I mean, what an amazing person to work with, Linda, as well, because she's, I mean, she's seen it all over the years. She's worked with such a wide variety of artists, being able to tap into that, especially when I feel like you walk very well between, there's some rock and alt influences in there, but a lot of pop too. And like, that's definitely her background as well, yeah. right? It's gotta be a cool kind of pairing. I just like how she makes me feel. Like she really gives me this like fearless tone when we're in the studio and she's like, shut your eyes and go inside and she pulls some shit out of you and she's she's scary so you you don't leave, you don't leave with nothing you leave with you something. don't mess with linda that's what yeah. i like to hear um let's talk a little bit kind of looking back on the debut now because obviously it's been out there for a little minute now that album and everything um i guess you're at the point now where you can maybe reflect a little bit how are you feeling about that body of work how are you feeling about maybe what you learned or where you want to go next based on that I just toured the album again because I we went on tour with the Veronicas and the songs are standing up still. Like I really do love right. playing them, but I'm ready for the next era of me. And I think we just grow every day. So I'm constantly like, you know what I mean? It feels like so old, but it's really only been two years. Yeah, God. Um, but Doomed is like my firstborn. So yeah. it's just like, I don't know. It still feels very much like me. and. And the songs are evolving. Like when you tour, everything changes when you play live. Like it really does change. Oh God, yeah. Like you're like, fuck, Reactions I, I should as well. have done that on the recording. Right. It's almost like you should tour your album before you release it. <laughs> Figure out what works before you get in the studio. Yeah. No, no, no. That's always a cool kind of mix when you finally get it in front of those audiences in that way. And what a great tour to be on too, because the Veronicas are the best, man. And that's such a good pairing. I can see that working with those crowds very well for what you do as well. They are forever my friends. They I love are that. such women, like hardcore women, like having a female fronted tour was just mm. so the energy was really really there and and their crowds were really responsive and sweet and i love those girls yeah we did a song the last show together um the pistol annies we did a cover it was like so much fun man they're love the them. best yeah. so glad to see them back and doing stuff again they're just them, so yeah. so cool well i know it's a busy day ahead but before i let you go something i'm going to be asking pretty much everyone here today because you know the boys at the top of the bill it's his biggest ever show here right i want to know definitively What's the best Young Blood song? And I know this is going to be a hard question and a hard choice. Ever? Ever. What That's is the best Young Blood song? Super Dead Friends. Oh wow! It's just punk as fuck. I love it. And then I also love his new song with Yachty. Like mm. musically, I'm just like so overwhelmed by like the instrumental, yeah. like everything involved in it. It's not just about the lyrics or him. It's like I feel like I'm inside of that one. Yeah. And I'm just somebody random watching him when he plays that. So I love yeah. that. Yeah. So nice. They fill both sides of me. Yeah, that's true. Hey, <laughs> both sides of the coin. That's a good yeah. thing, my dom. He's flipping between genres. I love yeah. it, dude. Uh, have a great rest of your Thank day. You have so a great much. set. We'll catch up soon. All right. Fun. Jesse Joe Stark. Everybody.